Halo 3 Flight recently got a patch and an extension on top of the previous one as well. We also have an MCC patch for you guys as well to earn some brand new nameplates. So stay tuned throughout the whole video to understand all the details. How's it going everybody? It's Kevin here once again giving you another news informational video when it comes to Halo. If you like these news informational videos, please make sure to tap that like button so let's me know you want to see some more content like this and it greatly helps out the video and channel. So let's get right into it. So I'm sure we're all kind of coming down from the recent banished confirmation in Halo Infinite from the previous day, but MCC is still the current game. It's still getting some updates. Halo 3 Flight is still going on and it's actually going to get extended until the end of the month and it got a patch update. So let's go into the fixes that came with this game. We have a new skull as well for Halo 3 looking like that as well so we can dive more deeply into that so let's go into the gameplay fixes for this recent patch update. Here are some of the improved issues. Improvements have been made to Halo 3's audio to reduce crackling and areas where it sounded a little too quiet. Overall polish work for to the challenge hub menu. We work the challenge notification pop-up layout and placement to be cleaner and less obstructive added an audio cue when completing a challenge, polished various matchmaking game variants to use more consistent time limits and other settings, enabled non-linear unlocks within each page of seasonal overview. So the interpolation is essentially how smooth your frame rate is. And you know, as we do know with Reach and Halo 2 Anniversary, unlimited frames does look well rather framey. And in Halo 3, from my experience on the flight, it is buttery smooth. It looks amazing. And I'm glad they even made improvements on top of that. So I'm really excited about it. And uh, a lot of people have also been praising about the recent audio changes. Now the game just sounds so much better. It's so much more true to the original Halo 3 than it did for the MCC, which MCC has always had issues with audio encoding right there. Uh, obviously, the uh, probably the biggest challenge you'll notice right off the bat from playing the flight is the challenge hub menu and also just the, the notification sliding in. It's much more uh, sleek, smaller, it slides right in, less obstructive, and I think it's a great addition to that as well. And also, the cool thing here is that they mentioned way, way back that they wanted to change for the seasonal progression, and it looks like it's going to happen now where they enabled non-linear unlocks with Within the season of progression. Okay, so I just want to show a quick example of what I'm talking about here. So we can see that you can obviously switch between your your pages, right? And so now you can unlock any item you want right here. So normally you had to go like one, two, three, four, five, and then you get to continue on. But now what you can do per page is say like, oh, I really like uh, this ODST helmet instead of the uh, these things. So I can go here, click on this, unlock that, boom. Unlock key reward right there, no problem. This does not work though if I wanted to go to the next page. You can see everything here is still locked. I'm selecting it, nothing's happening. So there is that. So you still have to like work your way through each page, but now you can kind of pick and choose within each one individually what you would like to do. Also, I want to take note that they recently added this in right here. They have an option to switch between seasons right here. So I'm this pretty much almost certainly confirms, which we assumed pretty much what we've seen in the previous videos I've uploaded guys that we're going to get a new season with the launch of Halo 3. What content's going to be in it? We've had some hints to CE uh, customization, but nothing specifically beyond that. Uh, but to keep in mind that the Noble season will maintain once the new season comes in. So you can spend your seasonal points however you'd like. So with the recent patch update to Halo 3's flighting process, they definitely need to, a few more days to test it out. Well, so they've extended the flight to the 29th. So we got a nice little list right here, you guys, to show you all the modes that'll be coming up for the next few days or so. Flight is turned off on the 29th, which should be about 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, which is the same time zone that 343 is in. That's usually about the refresh time right there. So you can see we have plenty of the great modes we all love about Halo 3 coming back for the next few days or so. And we also have some resolved issues for the gameplay as well for Elite Armor has some clipping issues on the customization preview screen so that's been resolved. Stationary turrets can be moved on maps in multiplayer. Spartan laser reticle is larger than intended when zoomed in. Visor HUD elements are misaligned in Halo 3's gameplay. The Arbiter's health bar has an unintentional line underneath it. The headshot reticle is slightly larger for the battle rifle and sniper rifle. The flashlight is not attached to the player's armor. Player emblems on armor are randomized in gameplay. Fixed an issue where attempting to fire an offhand weapon while dual wielding 
could conflict with zoom on the mouse keys. Now this offhand dual wielding weapon issue was actually brought up during the flight, so it's really great that we're seeing this kind of stuff get brought up right there. Uh, all these were previously known issues, and I'm glad to see that they're being fixed within like, what, two weeks of the flight being out, so that's great to see. And uh, I'm really looking forward to the additions that are coming for the full release of the game. Talking about the full release of the game, it looks like we will be getting a new skull for Halo 3, which is going to be called Agrophobia, which obviously when I first read that, I'm kind of interested by it. Like, I don't know what that means, but then I actually, you know, with the power of Google, I looked it up and I found that basically it has an, it's an irrational fear of falling from heights. So this would probably mean that to me, either that you're invulnerable from falling from heights or you're extra vulnerable falling from heights so we'll definitely have to test that out when the game fully releases like i said that the mcc itself did get a patch update a little minor one so you have to go in and update your xbox or your pc version as well the gameplay changes are a little minor so it's fixed a body shot damage issue in swat for ce so i've heard that they basically made this into a four shot instead of a three shot body shot added additional shoddy snipers game variant for halo 2 so Yes, a little minor updates right there, but that's great. But another really great thing here is that if you play uh, MCC within the June 24th between July 24th, you actually get a chance to earn a new nameplate. And it's a very uh, poignant update for the nameplate. It's basically going to be called the Pride emblems that you'll be gaining for the MCC. This is kind of show some support for the uh, LBGTQ plus community and stuff like that. So that's great to have that added into the game. And I believe also that the uh, Black History Month uh, emblems have been added back in for right now to earn during that time on top of that. So show your support guys out there. That's great to see that uh, MCC is getting a little bit more inclusive when it comes to their emblems. So that about does it for the MCC news for you guys today. We got a brand new patch, changed up a few things in CE and Halo 2. We got a big patch update for the Halo 3 flight. Really excited about this. Uh, I'm assuming that we'll probably get a release date probably two weeks, I'm assuming, after the flight is completed. So probably since it's going to be on the cadence of probably a Tuesday, uh, next month on July, I would assume probably July 14th would be my guess. Now there has been rumors about the Xbox 2020 event for all your the uh, Xbox only uh, game developers being on the July 7th. That's not confirmed, that's what I've read. We will be doing a watch party stream on this channel and over on Twitch guys. So follow me on Twitch if you want to be part of the content where we'll be doing some reaction videos from it. It's going to be one heck of a time. And if you missed the recent news of the Banished being confirmed in Halo Infinite by 343, check out my last video, guys, to keep yourself updated with all the content going on here and all the news in Halo. So thank you so much for watching. I greatly appreciate it. I'll catch you all in the next video. Peace out.